Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to solve one-step inequalities. As you can see, there are four important tips that we need to remember for solving one-step inequalities. The first is that we have to use the concept of equality to get the variable by itself. This is commonly referred to as whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. First, you're going to check to see if you have to add or subtract to get the variable on one side of the inequality and constants on the other side. And a constant is just another way of saying a number. After you check for that, you will divide both sides by the coefficient on the variable. And for example, if we had the term 3x, the 3 in this case would be the coefficient. So you would divide by 3. And then finally, when it comes to inequalities, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you will switch the sign of the inequality. So the inequality will go from greater than to less than, or greater than or equal to to less than or equal to, and they will go back and forth. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem. This problem gives us x plus 3 is less than 10. In order to solve this one step inequality, we have to get the variable on one side of the inequality and all constants on the other. And the way you do that is you can use addition and subtraction to move the constants from one side to the other. In the case of this inequality, we have to move this plus 3 to the other side because we want the variable on one side by itself and numbers on the other side. The way we do that is we undo plus 3. We have to do the opposite of plus 3. The opposite of plus 3 is to minus 3, is to subtract 3. So you do the opposite and those 3's will cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we're also going to have to subtract 3 on this side. When you do that, you will get 10 minus 3 on the right side of the inequality, which is 7. Our less than sign comes straight down, and then the x also comes straight down. So right now we have x is less than 7, and that's going to be our answer. And I know this is our answer because once the x does not have a coefficient on it, you know that your, your inequality has been simplified to the most simple form. So the solution to x plus 3 is less than 10 is going to be x is less than 7. Moving on to the second practice problem, this problem gives us 2x is greater than or equal to 10. This time we don't have any constants on the same side as the x, so we don't have to add or subtract to move them over to the other side. But the x does have a coefficient. This coefficient is like saying 2 times x. So even though it's not written, there's a little multiplication symbol in between the 2 and the x. In order to undo this 2 times x, you have to do the opposite of 2 times something. The opposite of 2 times something is to divide by 2. So we're going to divide this side by 2 so that the 2's cancel and you're left with just x on this side, which is what we want. And then whatever you do to one side of the inequality, you also have to do to the other. So we're going to divide this side by 2 as well. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then in the middle, the greater than or equal to symbol comes straight down. So our solution is x is greater than or equal to 5. And I know this is the solution because there's no coefficient on the x and the variables on one side of the inequality and a constant is on the other. Finally, our last practice problem for one step inequalities gives us negative 3x is greater than 15. We don't have to add or subtract for this problem because this side only has a variable and this side only has a constant. So there's no constant that we have to move to the other side. But we do have a coefficient and we have to get rid of this coefficient. This time the coefficient is negative 3 and remember this is like saying negative 3 times x. So we have to undo this negative 3. When you divide we're going to divide by negative 3 because this is like saying negative 3 times x and the opposite of that is to divide by negative 3. When we divide by negative 3, the negatives will cancel and the 3's will cancel. And we're left with just x, which is what we want. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do to the other. So we're going to divide this side by negative 3 as well. And 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. Now, the last rule for inequalities is that when you multiply or divide by a negative number, the sign of your inequality symbol will change. So this is a greater than symbol, 
it's going to change to a less than symbol. So the sign is going to flip. If this was a less than symbol, it would flip to a greater than symbol. But because this problem has a greater than symbol, it's going to change to a less than symbol. So our final solution for this inequality is x is less than negative 5. And if you would like to do some more practice on solving one-step inequalities, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to get taken to a free practice worksheet or a quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!